One of the less well-known holiday places in the British Isles is Ulster, Northern Ireland. And the gateway is Belfast, its capital city. Belfast is the key city to six counties famous for their warm accent, their friendly welcome, and their love of sport and open-air life. Motor racing attracts thousands of visitors to Ulster, and for many years people have thronged over to see the famous Ulster TT. It's now held over the Dundrod circuit about six miles to the northeast of Belfast. The world's greatest racing drivers have competed in the Ulster TT, which used to be held on the Ards circuit south of Belfast. And now, all last moment preparations are being made before the start of another of these great tests of cars and driving skills. Soon now, there'll be a dash for the cars. Yes, they're off. And that's Sterling Moss jumping into his Jaguar, car number seven. Moss made a great getaway, and rounding the bend, here he is, nicely in the lead. Parnell's there. That's him, number 18, rounding that sharp bend. He's driving an Aston Martin. And there goes Moss, still in the lead, piling on speed in the straight with another lap behind him. Some bends you've got to treat with respect, and there are quite a lot of tricky ones on the Dundrod circuit. Moss pulls into the pits. That course is rough on towers. And Peter Collins pulls his Aston Martin in for fuel. Moss is off again in his Jaguar, and almost in the same moment, car number 20, Collins' Aston, chases after him. Moss and Collins are fighting it out between them. Trouble robs Moss of victory. The order is Collins, Parnell and Moss. Moss waits in his crippled car for the winner to cross the line before he crawls into third place. runs over to congratulate Collins. And there are more congratulations for Collins and his co-driver Griffith. The average tourist, however, treats the winding mountain roads of Ulster with due caution. It'd be a shame in any case to speed through such a lovely countryside. 
This is the country round the city of Armagh, the great ecclesiastical centre of Ulster, which many tourists visit. Armagh is the seat of two archbishops, the primates of all Ireland for both the Protestant and Roman Catholic religions in both the north and the south. Here in Armagh, you may visit the ancient Protestant cathedral. Another place of interest is the observatory, famous for having produced many great astronomers. Few cities the size of Armagh possess two archbishops' palaces and a Roman Catholic cathedral, as well as a Protestant one. Out in the country again, neat whitewashed farmhouses dot the landscape. For Ulster is still essentially an agricultural country. And wherever you are in her six counties, you're likely to be in sight of mountains. If you're a fisherman, you'll find good sport to be had in Ulster's rivers and lakes. And if you happen to be fishing in the neighbourhood of Crawfordsburn, what pleasanter spot could you find to spend the evening than the Crawfordsburn Inn, a favourite meeting place both of tourists and the local people. Driving along the coast road from Ballycastle to Portrush, you'll see the famous rope bridge of Carrick Reed. The ideal way to see Ulster is by taking a car over, or hiring one locally. There are so many magnificent drives you can take. The people of Northern Ireland love the races as much as any people anywhere. And it's here at the Mays Racecourse in County Down that the Ulster Derbys run. What's going to win this race? Just time to put on a bet. Not much time though, because they're all lined up at the start, and they're off. It's a real typical Northern Ireland crowd that you'll see at the maze, and fine Irish horses too. Horse racing, car racing, and in Ulster especially, crack motorcyclists from six countries parade before the start of the Ulster Grand Prix run over the same Dundrod circuit. It's time now for the start of the day's two big events, the 250cc and the 350cc classes. There are the 350 boys away. Behind them, the 250 riders wait their turn. And there go the 250ccs. Cochranstown Bend is just one of the tricky twists in the course. The Dundrod circuit is nearly seven and a half miles. It's a good dry road, so fast times are expected. Already Reg Armstrong on a German NSU is way out in front of his 250cc rivals, but it's still anybody's race in the 350 class. Edward Masson brings his Velocette into the pits for a fill-up. They've still got a long way to go. Otto Dyker on another NSU piles on the speed, but here comes the winner of the 350 class. It's Ken Mudford riding as a substitute in the Norton team. McIntyre and Coleman, both on AJSs, are second and third. 